the Compton effect or Compton scattering concerns the scattering of X-rays by electrons. In his 1923 experiment, Arthur Compton directed X-ray at a target such as a piece of graphite. He found that the scattered X-ray had a slightly longer wavelength than the incident X-ray. The wavelength difference between the scattered photon and the incident photon is called the Compton shift. In order to explain this shift, Compton used the photon theory. Treating photons as particles colliding with electrons that are initially at rest inside the target material. So it is kind of like two balls colliding. The incident photon collides with an electron at rest, giving some energy and momentum to the electron so the electron goes off one way and the scattered photon goes off another way. Because the photon loses some energy to the electron, the photon ends with less energy. A photon with less energy does not slow down because a photon has to travel at the speed of light. Because photon energy is E equals to HF, when a photon loses energy, its frequency shifts lower, which means its wavelength shifts longer. That's why the scattered photon gets a longer wavelength lambda prime than the original wavelength lambda. Applying relativistic energy and momentum conservation, Compton derived this formula, relating lambda prime to the scattering angle phi. This successfully predicted his experimental results and provided one more evidence that supports the photon theory. By the way, I do not believe you have to memorize this equation. The wave theory fails at explaining the Compton shift. According to the classical EM wave theory, when an EM wave with a certain frequency is incident on a charge at rest, the EM wave would set the charge oscillating at the same frequency, thereby re-emitting EM waves of that same frequency. So according to the wave theory, the outgoing X-ray should have the same original frequency and the wavelength. When that wave loses energy to the electron, its intensity decreases, but its wavelength does not change. So the wave theory fails at explaining the Compton effect.